Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Erica. In this video, we will discuss some concepts about threads. Let's start with understanding what threads are. I highly recommend watching the video on processes before proceeding with this one. You can find the link to it in the description box below. Consider a scenario where a leader is working with a number of people. Each member of the team is assigned a specific task to do, along with resources to complete that task. Once each member carries out their tasks, the leader is responsible for presenting it. Now think of the leader as a process. Each process on a computer would have multiple workers, each performing an assigned activity using a specific set of resources. These workers are the threads used by the process. A process can have any number of threads. Information about the threads belonging to a process are stored within the e-process structure. There is a field to denote the number of threads used. There is another field which points to the list of threads used by a process. Information about each thread is stored in the eThread structure. All the threads used by a process are chained together. Kernel-specific information about a thread is stored using a special structure called as kthread, which is part of eThread. Each process in the active process listing would have its own list of threads. Now, I will show you how you can view the threads belonging to a process in the user land. We can use tools like Process Explorer. Right-click on a process and select Properties. Navigate to the Threads tab. Here, you can view the entire list of threads associated with a process. Each thread has its own ID, start time, state information, and much more. Now, I will show you how you can view information about threads in the kernel land. In the kernel land, can you guess the command we can use view the generic structure of eThread and kthread? There we go. Here is the kthread structure. Let us view the threads associated with Notepad. First, we will view the list of active processes. I will click on the entry for Notepad. Here you can find information about the list of threads. You can click on a specific one to view more information about it. Here's how knowledge about threads will help in reverse engineering. Threads contain critical information like the timestamp when it was active, data about the activity performed, etc. Some malware samples employ clever stealth behavior. During reverse engineering, analyzing the state of threads used by that process will be helpful to understand its behavior. I hope you have a good idea now about how threads exist in user land and kernel land. Stay tuned for more videos on Windows internals. If you like this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!